Duke is such a tool, but I don't think he needed to be. I think he could have been a good person. Like the Miles Brown video, I'm assuming everyone here has seen Glass Onion or doesn't care about spoilers. Like the Benoit Blanc movies, I'm going to try to tackle this video from one perspective and then shift the perspective and change everything. And like Knives Out, when I was making the first video, I didn't expect to be making a second. I just didn't want to force one and try to ride the wave of that Miles Brown video. But here we are. Because... I'm ready to sell out, baby! Woo! Hit the like button, pledge to the highest Patreon tier, and let's reach my stretch goal of buying Ireland! But as Duke Cody might say, enough foreplay, let's do this. Really awkward transition considering the implications of that joke. But let's talk about Duke and how he treats Mama Duke. From her first introduction, Duke is yelling at her. Will you shut it? The reason is because she's interrupting his recording session where he's just being uh, real upstanding sexist oops sorry feminist. sorry feminist anyway she puts him in his place and it's delicious <laughs> one thing i love is waking up to a nice warm cup of a dumb sexist getting slapped <laughs> mm, delicious i was supposed to have a mug here oops seconds later duke gets on the phone and immediately tells everyone mama duke broke his puzzle box my mom already broke it and even though she immediately proves him wrong by pointing out it's a stereogram it's a stereogram he not only completely ignores her but doubles down on his claim that i don't know she broke it i didn't mention but i'm gonna try to surprise you at the very end then again after both lionel and claire have validated that mama duke is right stereogram Wait, a stereogram? Were those the things? Magic eye things? I can never do those. He triples down and insults Mama Duke again, talking about- What did I tell you about touching my stuff? We can speed around the rest of the disrespect when she says- It's a compass. And that first one's a Fibonacci sequence. His response is the same. Mom! You might be thinking, okay, that's a lot of examples of him just being a dick. Are you trying to tell me that he doesn't listen to her because she's a woman and he's sexist? Or that he's embarrassed that a woman is being smarter than him in front of his friends? Yes. Why? You may ask. Especially since a list of dickish behavior doesn't explain how he could have been a good person instead. Now for the promised shift of perspective. Let's shift our view from Duke and his issues and look at the like button. Let's look at that thumb so hard it changes colors. Sorry, my bad. Let's look at Mama Duke. From her first introduction, she's interrupting him. Duke! Because that's what Dookie, I've been calling you. You gotta answer me when I call. When he comes out, he says, we've, we've been over this a million times. Telling us that she doesn't respect his boundaries. A lack of respect for other people's boundaries is a big red flag in my book. Doesn't matter that he's her kid. By disrespecting his boundaries, I assume since he was a kid, she taught him to disrespect the boundaries of others. In response to him saying, shut it, she slaps him. There's a lot of research showing how corporal punishment is not an effective means of parenting, but whatever you think about it, we can all agree that slapping anyone for saying shut it is going overboard. Not to even mention the fact that he's a fucking adult. The dynamic between a parent and a child needs to change once the child has become an adult. And then, when he apologizes and tries to explain what he was doing that was so important to him... I'm sorry, it's just when we're live. What? When we're... What? Jeez, mom, I'm sorry. She mocks him. I'll admit, that felt good seeing it in the theater. It still feels good because he's a fucking idiot sexist. But it shows us a deeper issue. It shows us that she doesn't give a fuck about his interests. And she lets him know it by mocking him. We see it again when, after her contributing more to the puzzle solving than anyone else, Whiskey comes up, asks what the box is, and Mama Duke says, I don't know. So the surprise, and I genuinely don't know why I called it a surprise since it's the topic of this video. Sorry for not rewriting it, but I'm going to be so tired by the time I'm uploading this video. All right, the surprise. Why Duke's a dick and why he didn't need to be. Imagine little Dukey. <laughs> I don't know how I wrote that so many times and said it out loud as I was writing it to make sure it sounded good and I didn't think of a little poop. I'm sorry, I'm not mature. <laughs> oh God. Imagine little Dookie, passionate about video games, wanting to talk all day and night about them, but with a mother who 
couldn't give a shit. Literally the first and most prominent female figure in his life told him with her actions, I am not interested in you. Knowing that our relationship to our partner is influenced by our relationship with our parents, I can't help but imagine little Dookie learning that he has nothing interesting to offer women. And maybe that's what led to his exercising. There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Deal with it. As a means to draw female attention. It's safe to assume Mama Duke didn't care about him working out either. And when working out worked, I bet he looked down on those women. Thinking something like, well, my mom knows deep down I have nothing to offer. And she's the smartest woman I know. So that must mean you're dumb. We just got here. Wow. Add in him being canceled for doing stupid shit. Duke got banned from Twitch for hawking rhino horn boner pills to teenage boys. With zero rhino on those pills. Who might we assume would be there for him? Well, we know not his mom, but also I think it's safe to assume that the only influencers who would want to associate with him after that are the types who love turning disassociated young men into incels. Hello, breastification speeches. Ultimately, I believe there are two halves to what makes a person good or bad. The second half is the person in question. It's their life, they get to make their own adult decisions, and they get to live with the consequences. But the first half is the parents, or in this case, the parent. They lay the entire foundation for what a person can be, and then the child gets to build upon it. And frankly, the foundation sucked from the get. I think I was little, god damn it. <laughs> sorry. I think I was a little dookie growing up. I was hit as a kid. I had my boundaries disrespected and my parents refused to let me be an adult and stop trying to parent me. At least they were interested enough in my own passions to know what they were and then actively ignore them as they tried to get me to do what they wanted me to do. If you didn't know, I'm a dad to an amazing 11 year old. And I'm not just saying that your 11 year old is embarrassing. <laughs> okay. I wrote it in to stop after comparison because I knew I wouldn't be able to make it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ugh. I mention it now so that I can say this. Her being 11 does not affect how I treat her at all. I don't hit her. I don't mock her when she's telling me about her interests. I respect her boundaries. A while back, I told her if I'm hanging around with you and your friends and you ever feel embarrassed having me around, just pull me aside and say, Hey, Dad, can you give me some time with my friends? And I'll be out of there. And yesterday, uh, well, I guess two days because it's technically Friday and that was Wednesday. When we were talking about another sleepover with her friends at my place, she asked if they could watch movies alone. Last time I watched that newer Cinderella movie with them and this time she didn't want that. I was so fucking proud of her. She thought ahead, anticipated a situation she didn't want, and respectfully drew a boundary. I didn't know how to do that when I was 11. If I'm being honest, she's better at it now than I am. And she's miles better than Duke and Mama Duke. Not Miles Brown better, but Miles better. <laughs> All to say, it's clear how intelligent Mama Duke is, and I truly believe that just given a little guidance as a child, his path could have been completely different. Like, it's like uh, what is that metaphor with the river going down the mountain. One little pebble can set its course off on a completely different direction, and the pebble that set Duke on his course was her complete lack of interest in his interests. Seeing those toxic, horrible interests that just snowballed later, she could have avoided, helped him avoid all of that by just guiding him. But she was a hands-off parent who only showed him attention when he fucked up in her eyes. And that's really fucking depressing. <laughs> um, it is, though. I laughed, but it really is. That's my take of the situation. If you want to talk to me about it, I respond to every single comment. There's also free Discord. If you didn't watch the Miles Braun video here, I don't know. It's there. And if you haven't already, please shoot that like button. Because you never know when shit's going to go down. If she just connected with him and taught him, he could have been the most intelligent one in the group. So intelligent, he wouldn't have bothered with those shitheads.